barge boards. Barge boards used to come on the same boards as the other ones, but in this kit they're laser cut. And I don't know if I zoom in, you can see that some are fatter than others. So these are large ones, these are small ones, as in skinny. And then you've got some fancy looking ones as well. That's the advantage of the laser cutters, the detail can be a little bit better. So we'll combine them as per the instructions and we'll get up with it. Well, two skinny ones, one fat one, two skinny ones, one fat one. Glue these two together, that one on top, and these to act like a spacer. When you're gluing these together, minimal glue, and it's important to make sure that your apex line up. So for the larger boards, one for the cable ends, one, one, and one. This one gets sandwiched in the middle, so you go skinny, fancy, fat. These barge boards, you can see the space on the inside there, and these fit up into there. Test it. the right way and not enough. With the dormer windows all that we're doing is we've got to pop them in first and then put the reefs on so it's going to be important to make sure that our apexes line up. Probably could put the roof on first if you really want to do. Our apex is good, so then we can uh, put the dumbbell roof on. I'll pop. Barge boards are on. It's a nice little touch. And we'll see you in the next bit. Capping stones for the chimney. It's just a case of popping the back. Edges. And it's literally, I recommend you give this a good amount of glue in the middle, and this sits on top. I right. uh, need to get it central. Aren't you happy with the centralness of it? And you pop 
the next one on. This one you don't need quite so much glue. Sometimes they'll print a little square for you to pop it on. Or there'll be quarters to line up. Pretty happy with that. Okay, what about bay windows? You usually have the bay window walls, which we've treated exactly the way as the others have gone round and, and did the line up. You've got a couple of formers, two of these. These are what gives that wall its shape. So they go in there like that. Once we've done that, we can score the bay windows, bend those, they will go inside. So this is where you have to do this after you've done that. And after that we have the roof that goes on. so we can read it and then what's the strategy? all that we do lightly we don't cut it all the way through we just give it a little scratch for want of a better term like that and what that does is that we'll give it a line to crease on, like that. If you did it the other way, then you'd be trying to force it back on the cut and that wouldn't work. So you've got to make sure you've got the, the lettering so you can see it. And then that will get glued in there like that and glued to shape. I'm going to let that dry and then we'll do that. If all's gone well, it should still be able to be centered. So, put the roof support. Move along the long edge. And with it flat, slide that in. So it's flush with the roof. Let that dry. Then that will go over the top. Okay. Gotta let that dry. Okay. Just before I put the roof on, what I'm gonna do is just put a fillet of glue in there. So when that dries it'll just have give it a little bit of extra strength. Right. Now comes the tricky part. You will be better putting the glue on the edges here and trying to put it on the roof and then get the roof on. So with the glue on like that Make sure you get your roof the right way up. And pop him on. And he should be flush at the back. Make sure that your lines here match up with your lines there. And it looks pretty good. 
the heavy bay window. So if I was to put this bay window there, you can see through this window to that window there, which wouldn't be that realistic. So your options are to put curtains on the inside of the of curtains on the inside of that so you can't see through it or to put something over this window here as in black cardboard picture of the inside or something like that so that way when you look through the windows you will be looking into the property so that that's one option so what I've done is just by usual dark text that this one is actually slightly see-through but when you put that over the top of the building and you look through it you might get a hint that there's something in there but you will be mistaken for thinking that that something that you might be able to see through the windows there is just internal internal fixtures so it actually works quite well so with all these various bits and pieces here um, you can add them on to this model, you can add them on to any model that uh, exists somewhere else, you know, any other models you've got. Um, you, they, you can see how they sort of work. They literally just do add on. What I'm thinking of doing is popping this one up here. This one in here just to give it a little bit more substantialness. I might even go with the bay window at the end as well. Um, still making my mind up about that. Um, just a lot of one thing to take into consideration though is your roofs on this because this hangs out a little bit past the wall. If I want to snuck that up in there, then what I'm going to have to do is just cut a little bit of this roof line away so it, it comes up snugly, or take the roof off, move the whole thing that way, and redo it. But uh, yeah, that will help get rid of this gap there. But it uh, it looks alright as it is. I might do that a little later. Same with this one. Because we've got the chimney there, and what I'm going to have to do is just cut a little bit out so it sneaks around that chimney. Um, on this side everything looks alright for a bay window. But again what I'll do is I'll, I'll take something out of there. Might do that one black on the inside there because it's such a massive wall on the inside and you'd, uh, you'll see that plain as day through there even if I tint it. So I'm going to play around with those and then I'm going to come back. The solution for the bay windows or any other windows for that matter is that downloaded and printed off some HO scale curtains like that. Cut them out and have pop them on the inside of the windows like that and then the gap in the open one there all that I've done is um, the old black texture thing in. The glue that looks a little opaque will dry and then when I pop it over the end there near the front door make it look like that's the main setting room. So that's what we're going to do. Ah, a little bit about ridge tiles. Ridge tiles run along the top of the roof here and with all the kits you get a choice of brown or grey. They always give you two choices of ridge tiles. It's a case of cutting a strip out. Now the strip is scored so you can bend it that enables you to then fit it along the roof there. Put a 
course then you've got this strip of white so what do you think we're going to do? Okay. Get the old texture carefully run him along like that. They always give you more roof tiles than what you need so if you go onto the roof tiles themselves it's not a biggie. And then they flatten that again. That looks so much better doesn't it? Then fold one end Grab your scissors and cut it at about a 45 degree angle. And what that does is that that will let you then marry it up with that roof there. So then you pop it on. Once we're happy with it, we find where we are, and we just snip it. Now if you've got any ridge tiles left, you might be lucky enough to uh, get them to go all the way across. And if you've got half a tile at one end, what you're probably better off doing is, is splitting it. So you get half tile at one end, and this is not going to let me do that though, it's going to be pedantic. You know, it looks like we've got a half tile instead of just a, like one eighth or something. Yeah, just finishes that, that bridge off. Alright, now you gotta do your dormer windows. And that's it for rich tiles. A couple of chimney pots and the bottle's finished. These are some or well, chimney pots that are 3D printed. They're just very simple, tube with a little band around the top, painted up. All I'm gonna do is super glue two of those on, on top of the chimney. A little bit of super glue on the baking paper. Set chimney pot and pop him on. And there we have the finished bottle. We've got our bay windows on, we've got our extension on, the roof has been cut back, other bay window lean to. So what do you think guys? Next step is to do some weathering, a little bit of moss, and I've got a, an idea of what to do for a vine growing up the side. For a vine, I've got to try using a coriander root. Okay, see you next time.